And expect another dry and hot one out there across central Texas. There may be a few rain chances in the forecast. We'll look at that 10 day coming up. 610 now, welcome back. You know, it's so hot, Josh. The ice cream man changed the sign on the side of his van to just cream. There's no ice left. <laughs> That's it. It's over. Now, that's just sad. Isn't it? Does it still jingle at least? I hope so. Because, I mean, if, if it got so hot that that speaker isn't working, then we've, we've got issues, man. That'd be a problem. Like, more issues than the weather at I'll this point. You. And yeah. uh, that is becoming an issue here. You saw the story on Lake Belton. It's yeah. not the only lake experiencing issues. We've been calculating your lake levels behind the scenes. And notice all except for Mejia, and Mejia's down too. The color's just not matching for some reason, Joey. I think the computer decided it was too hot to do the work today. Uh, look at that though, everyone below normal, and in some cases way below normal. Lake Buchanan down 20 feet. Lake Waco down nine feet. Belton, you saw at 15 and 16 below is still House Halla. We really need the rain. That is not as bad as what you're seeing in, or uh, Whitney and Aquila, not as bad as some of the area lakes, but still, we all need the rain. Lower 80s out there right now. This heat continuing to build. It's going to be another hot one. We do have an excessive heat warning in place for our northern counties. High temperatures will reach above 105 there from Mills, Hamilton, Bosque, and Hill in Navarra County to Waco Temple, Colleen. We have been downgraded into a heat advisory. Now, the danger is still there. It's just a hair cooler than it will be, or than it was rather yesterday. And feel like temperatures when you take in that humidity could be close to 105, if not higher. On the other side of the coin, it's been so dry lately and we've had the winds pick up that we're under a red flag warning along and west of I-35, favorable conditions for spreading wildfires. Now, anyone could see a fire ignited because the ground has been so dry area-wide, but west of 35 is where we'll have the wind a little higher and that will lead to those conditions that could spread the wildfires. Here's a look at that fire danger map. And again, this is the chance of the fire igniting. The fuel is there when you see these colors in the yellows and the oranges. So that is what we'll have to watch out for. Yesterday, we had a fire in Falls County. We'll be watching through the day to see if any others pop up. 96 by noon, 104 by four o'clock. It's gonna feel as hot as 108 as we hit uh, 104 in Bellmead, 106 in West Bell County, sitting at 105 in Belton and Fort Cavazos at 104 in the rest of Central Texas. We could even see a couple of 107s up towards Meridian and towards Hillsborough. High pressure stays in control through the weekend. There are some signs, Joey, that may subside enough to bring in some small rain chances Tuesday, but I don't have any temperatures below 103, so the high heat continues. Protect the ice. Protect the ice and protect the ice cream man too, Please. man. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. 613 now. Kids go back to school in a couple of weeks.